What the fuck? Okay. I think it's time to do a video and I hate doing these things. Ugh. Um so for, for foremost, if anybody's confused in the change size, let me enlighten you on what Jaden's why Jaden is doing this. I'm gonna explain something and there's a special surprise that nobody has seen since season one that I'm going to finally reveal that has been crucial to be keeping this a secret, but we're gonna reveal it in the end. Why does Jaden hate Brady so much? As it was real, revealed when Cartelli, the doppelganger, captured Brady so that Jaden could finally get through the Brady said and why a little insight on what he was doing. Like most siblings, it is revealed that Brady was the favorite one. Jaden was basically got thrown into the street. When Brady had told his parents that he was going to become a spy and work for Kyler, and they praised him, but when Jaden wanted to do it, they kicked him out of the house. So Jaden ended up slaughtering that whole entire family and changed his name and took his brother's name, the one that's never been revealed or been shown. So he made his mission to finally reunite with Brady. And this is where the story goes. Jaden always felt like the whole world hated him. And so him destroying the world is like basically saying, what's the world ever done for me? Like, just make me feel so freaking shitty and things. That is why Jaden wanted to destroy the world, and that's why he was planning those missiles where he would get into a spy car that would fly him above ground when it all went down. And then he would fly back down after the damage is done, and then go from there. Like, he wanted to wipe out the whole entire human race. Jaden never wanted Brady to die. Not at first. He wanted him to suffer. And the best way of doing that is taking the things he loves. And he was not only targeting him throughout most of the, sh of the season, but he was also targeting his love interest, Sam. What a twist. It was very hard playing him. I mean, there are similarities between me and him that I can relate to. Because him feeling like the whole world hates you, I can relate to. And I took myself feelings and I put it into his character. So when I figured out what was really going to happen in the season 3... I was ready to play a villain again. Playing a villain is not hard if you know what you're doing. But if you don't, you're going to be like, lost. Like, what the hell do I do next? Um, I can say that wearing Jaden's, you know, he had the blue hair to symbolize Kyler so he would never forget Kyler. Because he was always very loyal to Kyler and Kyler he was always basically loyal to Jaden. He um, d dyed his hair after season 2 and cut it a little bit. But he also wanted to keep his natural and his... It, it was a mix. And it took me forever to figure out his hair because I knew I wanted his hair to change. And I wanted his outfit to change. I wanted him to reinvent himself. And I wanted to tease that in the season 2 finale of Jaden's only scene in that episode. Um, yeah. But it was very hot under there, too. I think off... I was filming a scene or some, And then all of a sudden I tripped over something. And so my reaction was very funny. 
in the next episode there is a, a, it's a fight scene like 13 minutes into it and it's a very brutal one and I can't say what happens but something looks completely fake like I did it for the scene but in reality it wasn't fake it really did happen and it's very noticeable So here's a surprise. Three, two, one. Surprise! Tristan is coming back for the first time ever since season one. But he is not coming back from the dead. Even though he was originally supposed to. And he was originally supposed to come back from the dead and become a villain that Brady would have ended up facing in season two. But I just said, no, I can't do that. You know, you gotta, when a character like this in the real world of the spy series, you can't, no, you can't bring the dead back. This isn't a supernatural series, the one that I've ever done in the past, but where those types of characters can come back from the dead. If they have a logical explanation and reason for coming back, Justin did not. However, he is, it's, from Brady's imagination. So, speaking, Brady thinks about what Tristan would tell him to do. Like, as a good friend and helping him. He only has one scene. And it's midway through it. Nothing changed with him. Although he may be a little different. Yeah, so. Okay, that's a surprise. I'm piecing. Bye, bitches.